is the scary future of web development, a place where we make websites without any code at all. Just take a look at this website I built today. I created this whole thing in a single hour and I didn't write a single line of code. Tell me that this doesn't make you scared by hitting that like and subscribe button. Right now, while I'm trying to figure out front end and back end and learn how to do hosting and domain name registration and figure out which language and framework I'm going to use, there are people out there that are literally doing this whole process in just a few clicks. This is literally scaring the mouse right out of my hand. It's probably gone to a better place. So with only my keyboard left, let's take a look at today's sponsor, which has made me question the future of web development. EditorX is one platform that's leading this revolution in making website development require no coding at all. I've seen website builders before, especially on things like WordPress, and I was never really that impressed. I know that there's a lot more to a website and developers would still be needed every step of the way. I don't think I can say that anymore because after checking out their platform, I might have to start eating my own code since I won't be using it anymore. First, I'm not exaggerating when I say you can build an entire website in just a few clicks. Check out this quick 10 second montage where I did just that. Pre-made popular layouts like call to actions and features, drag and drop, all of these things are game changers and make it much easier to build a website. It's like I've been using a terminal all my life to code and I've just discovered an operating system. Sure, I could go back to using a console, but there's a reason that people switch to Windows after using DOS. The same principles apply here. Just like DOS lives under Windows, Editor X lives underneath HTML and CSS. You might be asking yourself, why should I learn Editor X? Why should I learn to use a site builder instead of building up a whole website using plain old HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and all of that jazz? And the answer to that is really up to you. I'm not gonna tell you to use a site builder or code everything from scratch yourself. It's really up to you whether you want to do one or the other. But there are gains to be had when you're building a site using a site builder like Editor X. Let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages to using a site builder. Let's go over the first advantage, and that is time. Now, imagine that you're building a website from the ground up. Whether you're using a language or framework of your preference, it doesn't really matter. My preference is React because I love building applications in React. With all the modules and features you get, you can pretty much build anything. But there are some limitations to that, and that is indeed time. The first aspect of time is the fact that when we're building a website from the ground up, we're going to have to invest a lot of time to build out every single part of the HTML, every single part of the CSS. If it has responsive design, every aspect of that, testing it against every single browser, and maybe setting up lots of open source packages. And it doesn't end there. If, for example, a period down the track, maybe half a year, maybe a year, we need to do some updates and some of those modules might not even exist or maybe they've been depreciated or to a new version, all the syntax has changed. Going back and changing all of that can take a lot of time. I know that just trying to update one aspect of a website I had a few months ago, just for the responsive design, half the website broke and I had to go back and rebuild it from scratch simply because it wasn't optimized for the changes we were making. This is difficult. It takes a lot of your time to build things from scratch. A site builder gives you the flexibility not to have to worry about all of that. When you're using a site builder, yes, you will be limited by the fact that you can't update every element. But in a lot of cases, you don't need to update and have control over every single aspect of a website. The essentials are already there and you'll be able to build out the design and customize it whenever you want immediately without having to worry about anything breaking. Flexibility is the second aspect I wanted to cover. The flexibility of a website means how much you can change about it. Because usually when we're building websites, and if we're building it, for example, in React, pretty much it's set in stone. Unless you're using something like Gatsby to talk to an API, it's a fixed piece of layout, whether it's the header or the footer or the layout of the pages. You can usually change this layout a little bit more. For example, if I was using WordPress, I could give the client administrative access and maybe they can change where the menu items are or maybe I can get them to update their own blog posts or pages. So there's a little bit more flexibility there, but not too much. 
But if you want to take this to the next level, the possibilities where you have a site builder, when you give that control over to the client is a lot better because they can now edit their own logos, their own menus, their footer, their header, pretty much any aspect of the website. And yes, it's a little bit scary to give them full control because you don't know what they'll turn purple or yellow or if the aspects or changes they make will even work. But sometimes it's their responsibility to take control of that. And when they do need to change things, maybe they want to do it themselves. They don't want to spend the money to hire a developer to rechange their website. And maybe they never ask because of those reasons. This is why a site builder gives them and you a lot more flexibility and control to be able to change the layout and design of that website at any point in time. I've talked about time and I've talked about flexibility, but something I haven't mentioned yet is money. Money is time and flexibility and a lot more. And it's something that sometimes we forget to consider when we're building websites, whether it's the design aspect or the development aspects, we usually love what we do. So we throw time out the window and we do the best job we can. There is a limitation to that though, because when we're building out a website, it might take us a week or two weeks or even a month to have a flawless product. This actually is a tangible cost to yourself, to a business, to a client. And sometimes people don't have the budget to be able to spend on a website, which is absolutely perfect. And that might not be the goal either. A perfect website cannot really exist. There's no such thing, but you can get a good website for a good price. And sometimes when price is a consideration, a site builder can give you the flexibility to deliver on a promise, whether that is a website or a homepage or even just a basic landing page a lot faster than if you were to build up all the components from scratch. It also gives you the flexibility to apply changes to that design really quickly without again, investing all that time as well. And these are aspects that are a lot to a business or a client because they don't have unlimited budget and you don't have unlimited time. So really being able to consider where a good site builder can come into play to be able to build a website out is a important consideration to make.